In this video, I'm going to share with you a very effective little coverage scheme and pressure scheme that you can use against the PA boot over in Madden 22 that's going to help you slow down what I believe to be probably the best play in Madden. Now, if you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button. I release new videos like this every single day that can help you become a better player. And we're going to be basing this video out of the nickel 335 odd. And if you have not already picked up my nickel 335 odd defensive ebook, I would really encourage you to consider doing that. And the reason why is because this 335 odd package really does give you the best chance, in my personal opinion, at being able to combine really good pressure with really incredible coverage. So if you want to get a great defense right now, um, I think one of the better concepts and defensive schemes, giving you the ability to access out of the Baltimore playbook where you can have 335 wide, 335 odd, triple, all of those defenses merging together, um, I would encourage you to get that 335 odd defense of guide and it's only 15 bucks the beauty of this guide is that it will update throughout the year so as coverages change as concepts change as all of that stuff changes you're going to get an update so it's a one-time purchase not a recurring thing and again it's 15 bucks it's on sale if you want to get it it's in the description there's a link down there that you click it'll take you right over to the website where we'll get you all squared away so i want to show you cover six and cover six a three three five wide or three five odd and what i like to do with this is just pa boot over okay so I just want to show you this real quick. So all we're going to do is we're just going to uh, like press coverage. Um, if you wanted to, you could just base a line. I'm not, you don't have to press out of this. Um, and sometimes it's even better if you don't. Okay. So we'll just run it like this and watch what happens with PA boot over. You're going to notice here that we have pretty much everything taken away and we have the ability to be able to contain the quarterback. Now, the one thing that your opponent is going to be able to throw, okay? The one thing that your opponent is going to be able to throw is going to be this crossing route to Brown, okay? So we're just going to show that real quick. See here, I'm going to be able to get out of the pocket, and I'm going to be able to throw this on the run and try to hit that nice little, you know, sideline dot right there. Now, that's the only thing on this play that's open. So let me show. Let me explain that further in an instant replay uh, scenario. So... You're going to notice here, if we remember correctly, that this guy is a three receiver hook. So he's going to press this guy and then he's going to pass him off. And he's passing him off to the vertical hook, which I think should be your user, who's then going to give it to the soft squad. As you see here, the soft squad plays him. So pretty decent coverage there. Okay. Now the rollout. Okay. I'll come back to that in a second. There's a trick we can use to contain that. But if this tight end was to the release, this guy is on a three rec hook, which means he's going to match the tight end because the tight end is going to become the third receiver underneath. Okay. Then the deep post route. This route gets matched here at this point. At this point, it's getting matched over the top in man coverage. And then you also have your deep half kind of protecting. So the only real thing that is open is this. Okay. And as you see, it is open. Okay. So I'm going to show you how to slow this down. There's two things you can do. The first one is you could simply just user it. So what we're going to do, we're going to add one step to this. We're going to spread our line. We're going to spread our linebackers. And then the last thing we're going to do is we're just going to QB contain off that edge. So you see there that QB contain. What this is going to do is it's going to give us a pretty good chance at being able to blitz. Now you see here, if I release this delay fade, that linebacker is running right with him. He's going to carry him across. Um, now, another thing that you could do on this, this is why I like to base align because I can then do this. So you'll see here a couple things. You could move this guy around a little bit. I'm not going to go too far in depth on the rollout aspect of this, but let me just show you here. You see this, see how he kind of instantly sheds me. And then if I try to release that, I won't be able to because there's, there's coverage in that area of the field. So now let's talk about how we can stop the crosser. I've tried a lot of different things to stop the crosser, okay? A lot of different things to stop the crosser. And the thing that I've come up with that has worked the most consistent for me is to do this. We're going to take this line or this safety right here. And we're going, or I'm sorry, not the safety, um, this linebacker right here. And we're going to put him in a vert or a, uh, a hard flat, okay? So you see he's going to go into a hard flat. And then this guy, Davis, is going to go into a deep half, okay? And then last but not least, we're going to user this guy, okay? So this is going to give us 
decent run support. Um, if you wanted to, you could do something like this, you know, and another set that I run, you could do that. I mean, you know, you've got, you can bring a guy down to the box and play. Um, for the purpose of example, I'm just going to put him on a spy, okay? Because I want you to see what, what we have to cover with our users. So, you'll see here, pave it over, you get that contain rush on the edge, you see that hard flat. Now, that hard flat will occasionally give that up, but it's really... It's honestly not as open as you might think. Um, you know, it's, it, it really isn't. Uh, if you wanted to, you could put this guy on a curl flat. Now, I will say, if you put this guy on a curl flat and then you choose to user this guy, this is where I think you're going to have a little bit of an issue. So, you'll see this circle receiver. If you watch that curl flat defender, see how he stays inside, and I can easily deliver that ball um, to him, okay? That's what I'm getting at. So... That's why whenever I defend this, I like to take this guy and put him in a hard flat, take this guy and put him in a deep half zone, and then I'm going to use her like right in here, okay, right in here with Whitehead. And, you know, obviously I'm going to kind of just take whatever. But let's show you the crossing route. So you see that's deep, man, that pressure screaming. Classic 3 through 5 odd right there, man. Um, but but what, you'll, what you'll notice here is let me see here let me set this up real quick and just for purpose of demonstration i'm gonna take this guy off his blitz so don't don't worry too much about the rollout uh but anyways you'll see here and then we're gonna have this guy right in here so i just want you to watch the d path and how it works against the crosser he's gonna recognize crosser and he's gonna carry it to the sideline he's gonna help kind of push push the the crosser um out out more okay he's gonna help push it out more the other thing that you can do okay uh is this you could take this guy if you don't want to put him on a deep half you could take him and put him on an outside third okay and this will this will basically do the same the same kind of concept so you could put him in honestly anything you put him in outside third you can put him in outside quarter even or you can put him in a deep half all of those will work i think the outside third might be the most consistent what you'll see here, pass lead that to the right. See, matches onto him and takes that away. Okay, that's the concept. So then you can basically snapshot that and say, okay, let's go to inside switch. Okay, let's go to inside switch because we, if we can stop inside switch with that tight end corner by putting that guy on an outside third, now we might be in business a little bit. Now we might be in business a little bit. So watch this corner route. Pass lead right, and you see the outside third plays him. So you could either put him on an outside third, a deep half, or an outside quarter. The reason that I wanted to show that corner route coverage is because if I do what I was just telling you to do, where I put I do something like this and turn this into a cover six invert, right? I want you to watch this inside switch play. And what you're gonna see here is this corner route. It honestly will play it, but it it kind of it, it's not an intentional coverage. It plays it, but unintentionally plays it. So that's something else that I just wanted to point out on this is putting the outside third out there and kind of treating that like a deep invert, inverted zone to me is a really strategic move. The other thing is, so like the crosser, if I press that deep half, it almost never gets there. So that's where I would say, you know, show, show blitz or maybe just back them up it you know just don't press it all the way otherwise you're going to get dotted in this year's game so you know that for what it's worth that's kind of the coverage i wanted to show um and like i said i would really recommend putting the linebacker in the flat and then you yourself using this guy into like a hook curl type of scenario and helping on the crosser helping helping on those uh, or the helping on the crosser uh, if there's nothing else for you to guard. And then the deep post, by the way, you see the match coverage do a pretty good job on the deep post, even though he has slotomatic. So to me, the deep post is not a major concern as long as you can have all these other uh, all these other things working well for you. So 
that right there is my PA boot over defense right now. It's 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 kind of in its beginning stages, but if you want a little bit more polished version of the entire defensive scheme, the 335 odd defense is on sale right now for just 15 bucks. We show you how to stop popular plays like PA boot over, and also we show you how to use these concepts to slow down things like gun bunch or trips tight in or U trips. And and also guys, uh, we have a ton of different blitzing concepts and different coverage concepts that you can use for different situations. We teach you all about that in the defensive ebook. So if you want to get my 335 odd defensive guide, it's on sale right now for just $15. All you got to do is head down to the description, click that link, it'll take you right over to the website, and we'll get you all squared away.